Hi, today we're going to look at logarithmic expressions with the aid of our rules from exponents. So expression meaning that there's no equal sign, but I'm going to change this so there is an equal sign. Can you do that? Sometimes. I'm going to say log, log base 3 of 81 equals y. Now, uh, our rules of logs say we're allowed to kind of like do these shifts of going from logarithmic mode to exponential mode. That's what we're going to do right here. I'm going to take this 3. I'm going to move it. Rewriting my problem as 81 equals 3 to the y power. So our exponent's now up in the sky. Okay, using rules of exponents, can we change 81 so it looks different, but it's maybe a number raised to an exponent? Well, I can. I can rewrite 81 as 3 to the fourth power. Both those mean the same number in the end. Okay, so if I bring 3 to the y power down, because the bases are the same, 3 and 3, I can basically ignore them and create a new equation with what's up top uh, as exponents. And I'm left with y equals 4. And yeah, we can't really go anywhere with that, so we leave it. There's your answer. What about with log base 16 and 4? Well, again, let's turn this to an equation by adding a y in there, equal y. And we're going to use our movements of going from logs to exponent rule by shifting that base and rewriting. So 4 equals 16 to the y power. Can I rewrite, I could, re, could I rewrite 2 in another way or could I rewrite 16? I could, but let's just go with 16. Let's focus on that. Because I have a 4 here, why not change this to 4 squared? 16 is 4 squared, okay? So on the other side, I'm going to just 4 to the first power. It doesn't change. But what about my y? All right. Raise that to that. Uh, because our bases are the same, we can ignore those 4s, get rid of them, and we're left with 1 equals, and this is going to say 2 times y. I now need to get y alone. So divide by 2, divide by 2, y equals... One half. Okay. Next one gets a little more complicated. So we rewrite. Uh, turn this equal to a y. Let's shift our problem around, giving us 256 equals one half to the y power. Okay. So this is going to take, we need to see if we can rewrite this some other way. Um, let's just start with the one half. Uh, we have a 2 in the bottom of the fraction. We can rewrite that as saying 2 to the negative 1. 2 to the negative 1 is 1 half. All that to the y power. Can I rewrite 256 as 2 to an exponent? Well, uh, 2, 2, I think it might be 8. So 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256. Yeah. To the eighth power. Now, bases are the same. Ignore. We're going to take our exponents, set them equal to each other. 8 equals negative 1 times y, or just negative y. I want this to say y equals, not negative y. So we divide by a negative, leaving us with y equals negative 8. And that is solving logarithmic expressions uh, with rules of exponents.